Okay, in this part of connecting blasters together, I kind of like put it together so that way I can kind of see like where we're going to be adding um, all the pieces. Right now it's not connected. Um, I just use the help of wire, but I did this so I can be able to help you guys figure out where to be able to add placements to connect your blasters in the end. I'm going to be using some uh, slip knots to help me locate the areas where we're going to be doing the connections. We're going to be using our loom in this configuration to be able to create the connector that will be used for the inside of the body. All right, and in the end, we're just going to go ahead and stuff it right inside the shell. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and do the wiring and all that stuff. Um, in order for, you, for it to be able to do it, so if you guys want to stick your head in and figure out like where it connects to, um, like it's easy to just go ahead and like, put your arms in also through the holes, right? Your holes, your arms still have your slip knots also, which are going to be staying on there until we connect. Um, so I'm seeing that it's pretty much, this is kind of like in the middle. And this is the part of the arm that I kind of wanted to connect to. Right. And then it's going to go down to the leg part that I wanted to connect to. All right. So if you just stick your head like this and your arm like this, you can kind of see where it's going to connect. So I'm going to say that this is probably the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a few bands. Doesn't matter how many, you just want to put a slip knot to signify where you want to go ahead and make sure it attaches to. And my arm, obviously, I want my arms to be appropriately because this is the correct one for this side, this is the correct one for this side because it's flat right there. Okay, and then these are kind of curving towards the bottom and to the inside. You see how it's kind of curving in and this is curving in. So you want it to be that like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a slip knot here also. So I can make sure it aligns to that one. Let me get a slip knot. Okay. I'm just using some cheap bands right now to help me do these slips. Okay. So now that is lined up. So this side also has to be lined up. Make sure that your head is on straight. Okay. And it's gonna be, this is going to be touching the bottom of your chin anyway, so that's going to be proper. You don't want it to be too exposed. So now right here, this is like around the middle part. Okay, so it's about like here also. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some bands there. Put a slip knot there. As long as it's different colors, you can be able to notice them pretty quickly. Because we're going to be taking these off afterwards. The same thing for the arm. This one's appropriate already, like how it is. Uh, I just want to actually turn it a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and line it up with that. And... Another slip knot. Huh, if I can find some good. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to use this one. Doesn't matter what bands I use, I'm going to take them off anyways. Alright. Now that is done. So now the legs, right, and the tail, the tail is actually going to be connected more towards the back. Right now it's just being held by wire. Okay, and then your legs will be connected as such. So these. Alright. So it's going to be kind of like this. And we're also going to be putting wire on the bottom of your foot. So that way it's stable like this one. This one already has a wire. You can already see that it's flat. But this one, it's not flat yet. See how they're kind of curling down? We're going to put a wire to make it flat. Just like this one. See how I put a wire right there? Going all the way to this middle toe. 
Um, I'll show you how to do that also. You're also going to need a few more extra skin tone bands to attach the bottom part of the shell to the other side in between the legs and the tail, okay? So your tail is going to be like this at the back. And you're also going to need a few more of your blue tone um, to do the inside part. So these it looks like I'm gonna want to connect right in the middle. So it's gonna be this section right here, that's two, this is three, all right? So I'm gonna grab this third one right here. Grab another slip knot. And it's the same color. All right, so I know that that's where I'm gonna be connecting um, that part. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So it's connected right there. So that's one, two, three, all right, on this third one. Okay. And then the tail obviously will just be all attached toward the very, very back of it. Of it. And I think we're, we're good. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna teach you how to be able to um, attach the wire to the leg. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be using uh, 16 gauge wire. Uh, and this one's coated. So that way it's not gonna be um, discoloring in there. So like I said, we're gonna be putting it in here. You will need your um, pliers and some wire cutters. So I'm gonna zoom in a little because we don't need that much exposed. All right, so first off, go ahead and straighten out a little bit the wire you're gonna be using. Measure it out as to what you want it to cover. You want it to cover from like the tip, from tip to tip, okay? And obviously we're not gonna go all the way tip to tip because we're gonna be bending a little bit over on, the, on these sides. So you're gonna be wanting to cut it right there because this little part is gonna be bent, this little part will be bent. So that should be totally okay. So go ahead and cut off your wire about like that much. Make sure you don't use regular scissors, you want wire cutters <laughs> to be able to cut this. Now that you have your wire piece, you're gonna start from the back because it's the easiest part. And you want to hide it in between the, those, that little part right there. There's going to be like a few bands right there. There we go. And some bands right here. All right. Now that you have it right there, you want to go ahead and, and start inserting in here. And don't just jam it like right in the middle of there. You kind of want it to like tangle in with some of the bands in there. Let's go ahead and have it tangle and make sure it continues to go straight. Once it starts to come up, go ahead and push in, in the middle again. And just continue to push it through until you reach, start reaching the, uh, the other side. So here, now I have it on the, on the middle toe. And continue to push it through. If you have it, if you're having difficulty, use your, uh, your pliers to help you push it. All right. This one I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust right into the middle. All right. Now that I have it right there in the middle, I'm gonna adjust. So that way it's right in the middle. Okay, so this part you, you wanna go ahead and bend first. So right now it's way too long, so we're just gonna go ahead and bend just a little bit. Okay. All right, and now that it's right there, you wanna continue to push it. So that way some of it comes out right here. And this part you're going to, you're to bend in also.
and just hide it in and the toe and this one too hide it in All right now just keep it flat like that now you have both of them completed All right and they're both able to do just fine and you see how the slip knots are right there that should be okay so that means that you want your slip knots to also be having right there too. So you're going to do this kind of the same thing, like one, two, three, this third one is where you're going to be putting the other slip knot because this is where you're going to be connecting the other side of the connector. So just add a different colored slip knot so you know where to add it. The same thing right here. One, two, three, you're going to be adding it to this one. I'm just using random colors. So now uh, they're, they're signalized. The tail, obviously I want it to be like this. So it's going to be connected more towards like the top parts of it just so it'll help stand up uh, straight upwards. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and wire um, our our blasters. And the same thing too, you're going to be needing your, your wire. Um, you want it to be like about like the same length of it. Um, and one end, kind of already started like with this one. You wanna go ahead and hold on with your pliers tight to just like part of the tip of it. And you wanna coil it around so that way kind of there's a circle type of thing like this this whirl from the end right there on one part you're just going to go ahead and grab it and push the wire down so that way it's like this and you want to try to center it now so you're going to grab the rest of it and try to do your best to center it All right, so that should be good. So now that it's centered, right, now I can go ahead and insert it into one. And that swirl is gonna be on this edge. I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it right through the top. Make sure it goes right through the middle. And you want it to come out at this end. All right, so now that it's in the end, I wanna make sure it's coming out in the middle. Right now it's not in the middle, so I'm going to adjust it so it comes out in the middle. There we go. You're going to pull out a little bit of it. All right. and make sure that that is right there. You want to kind of hide it. All right. So it's on there now. So it's already it already went inside the hole. Now it's hiding, but you want to make sure it's staying close to the edge. So now you're, you're just going to go ahead and bend the rest of it. All right, and now that you have it right there, pull it out a little bit more. Bend it more into a U. And now you want it to attach again onto and then push it down. And if you can, try to pinch it so that way it locks in. But be careful not to break your bands. If you want to go ahead and do it like this instead. There we go. So that works a lot tighter. Push it. And there you go. So now one of them is a little more secure. So that way it's not flopping around on you like this. It's staying stiff. Let's do the same thing on this one. All right. So again. Go ahead and do a twist All right and now that you have a twist on, on right there okay you want to straighten it out and that one actually came out pretty well 
a lot better than the other one. <laughs> Alright, so I want to straighten this out. About the same thing, you want to go ahead and make sure it's going to be the same size. So I'm going to be cutting it off right there. There we go. So again, go ahead and insert it in. Make sure it comes out in the middle. As close to the middle as possible. Uh, that should be okay. All right, and then push it in so that way it's hiding. And then push this upward so that way you can kind of see it sprouting out so you know where to bend it. So I'm going to bend it right here. All right, now that it's bent, pull it out again and then bend it further into a U. And now have it go in and tighten it. So now it's a lot tighter. And push it back in there. And that way it keeps it stiff. Your blasters are done. Now time to go ahead and create your, your build. Okay. Now the final part is to be able to connect all these pieces together. And in order to do that, like I said, you're going to be needing your loom in this configuration, which is two pegs um, going in the same direction, or it doesn't matter like if they're in the opposite direction. Uh, whatever will be easiest for you. So you have all your pieces done already. So we're going to go ahead and just move them to the side for now. All of them already have their, um, their slip knots um, on them, so that way we know where we're going to be connecting everything. So, we're going to be needing some of the blue tones. You're going to be starting um, by filling out as a figure eight everything with double bands and we're going to be connecting it as, a, as all together. And we're going to be doing I think about four rows of these. So the first row is going to be of course with all figure eights. So just go ahead and start adding on your figure eights just like that with two bands. And make sure that when you're adding them like so, you want them to all go in the same direction. I found this just a lot easier to handle when they're all, always placed correctly. Let's now just go in this direction. And you want to fill the entire thing because there's enough space for everything. And this side. Okay, I have no idea what I was mumbling about. Okay, so now that we have it all going all over, um, let me zoom in a little. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and add another layer, but this again with double bands. 
you're just gonna go ahead and add them right on top just regularly grab again double bands and just add them regularly just go all around again okay. top and bottom too. Okay. <sighs> now that we're done with that, you're going to flip over the bottom well, four bands and just leave the top four bands, okay? So if you, you want to just go ahead and grab the middle ones, the middle bottom two and then the very bottom two and just go like that on all of them and that'll probably be a lot easier it's basically like the third row and then the fourth row of double bands unless you're able to just go ahead and grab all four at the same time Whatever works for you. I always want to make sure I do this correctly, so I just do it this way. And I'm going to push this side all down. Okay. And do the other side. push everything down. All right. Our first section has been created. So this is the part where we're going to start um, inserting some of the some of the stuff. Mm. The first one we're going to be adding, of course, I know, like obviously we're going to be putting in, I want to make sure that my pieces are all correctly. So yeah, these are, these go on this side. And your legs, of course, you want to go ahead and appropriate them. Your tail will be connected first and your tail will be uh, placed right here towards the bottom. So since we're going to be adding everything like this, just forward with this, we're going to be adding the tail so that way it curls this way. 
in order for that to, to happen, it needs to be connected from the back, this part of the, of the tail. So we're going to be connecting right there. Now, this is the middle of my tail. This little bolt right here. So obviously I'm going to be adding this part and this part. Okay. So I want to go ahead and connect it from here. And this one. So this wide section. Just like that. Okay. Adding it right there. When I'm adding the other bands, it's going to all get interconnected. All right. So the tail will be the first thing we're going to be applying. And on the next row, we'll go ahead and start connecting everything, all the other body parts. So now go ahead and start adding another row of bands to the entire thing. When you get to the tail part, you're not going to be adding one across because your tail is going to take place of the bands. What I mean is you're just going to go ahead and just add it right on top. And instead of adding another band right here, you already added your tail, so that's going to take the place. So you're just going to continue adding all the other bands on here. Okay, need more bands. Remember, don't add any right here, but now we have it all throughout. So I'm going to start down here and flip over the bottom four bands that are under the tail. So I'm going to grab the ones under the tail part, flip those over. Right. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side just to make sure I have it done. So it's these four. Now that that's completed, let's go ahead and um, do all these.
All right, that's done. So now we're gonna go ahead and start connecting some of the pieces together. Um, we're definitely gonna do the legs. Right. So the leg part, the first thing that will be connected will be this part. In order for you to figure uh, where things will be connected, obviously your head will be taking the space of these four pegs. And if you were to skip a peg and go to the next two pegs, this would be your arms. And then let's say that we skip like this three pegs for the abdomen. So your legs will be taking place. Um, you still have five pegs left over. Um, so we're going to go ahead and these two already have the tail. So you actually have, never mind, you have four pegs left over for the little legs. We only need um, I guess we're going to be using these three. Actually, you know, these three in the bottom right here. So we're going to leave these four spaces. Sorry, these three spaces and we're just going to go ahead and leave two spaces on top. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and <laughs> here, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what, like, what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna do the legs. Um, the section will be first. So we're gonna be doing it onto this peg and this peg. Where you have your slip knot at, that's actually gonna be connected. So you can go ahead and take out your slip knot now. Um, actually, put you're gonna put your hook through through that section. You're going to grab these two bands here and the two bands here. Now you can take out the slip knot. All right. That part will be connected entirely on this peg, like so. Now that is complete. We're going to do the next one. So again, you're going to take out the slip knot on the other one. This is the inside part of the, of the leg that will be there. So that is not connected. The rest of the tail, we're actually going to be leaving it as such. All right, we're not going to connect anything else uh, for now because the rest of the leg will be connected onto the other ones right here, but not until the next row after. Mm. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect part of the neck. First part of course, will be right under these. So you wanna kinda make sure that they're about even. So it's going even, and yeah, it looks pretty, pretty even to me. See, okay. So you wanna go ahead and try to grab pieces that are right under. So it's going to be these two. And these two. Okay. That part will be connected. Not here, but here. We're actually not going to connect anything to these because that's going to be like the the ones that go right here in the middle. So this part will be placed here like that. Okay, so your head's like not like this. And let's go ahead and add some bands before we connect this part to this side. This way it'll be easier to work with. I'm going to add bands back here. And I'm going to add my bands to this row.
Ya. Yeah. Okay. So the part that I connected is more like towards the middle of the neck, actually. Um, I actually want to get more of the back of the neck. I'm going to redo that part again, actually. Let me go ahead and take that out. I want to grab the, the section right behind it. So there it is right there. So I was supposed to grab this one, but now I'm going to grab the one behind it. Okay, because I feel a little bit more comfortable because it's a little bit more in the back of the neck. You want a little bit more in the back of the neck, okay? That should be a lot better because we're going to be doing another row. And we're going to grab the front part of the neck. So your neck is more like this, okay? Right, not continue feeling. Right, before I continue going right here, I'm going to go ahead and um, make sure I get this part to connect to this side. And again, it's going to be where my slip knot is at. Go under. So I, it's about like this one. So I'm going to grab the one behind it. That many bands. There we go. There's four. All right, so it's about yeah, it's about even. There we go. Yeah. So these are gonna be connected to this peg. So I want to flip my head over. Right. And actually, I'm supposed to grab them from the inside. So I'm gonna grab from the inside to the outside. There we go. And add it on to that peg. Okay. Right now the other side right here is kind of getting oh wacko. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit hard to do this section. So if you want, let's go ahead and flip everything from here first before we get to the other side. That might be easiest. So I'm gonna just flip the bottom four right here. And push down. Right here, I'm gonna grab the bottom four and flip that over. Okay. I'm gonna grab the bottom four Flip that over. Flip that.
Alright, so I'm going to continue doing this for this side. There we go. Let's push this down. And there's a bunch of bands right here. There's about like six or eight. So flip all those and just leave the top four behind. That's what we have to get. I'm going to do the same thing right here. So I want to go under these four. Grab all these. And flip that over carefully. And I'm going to add a little bit more bands right here so I can continue flipping. Okay, that should be okay. All right, so now I can go ahead and continue right here. So I'm going to do these. Everything from under here. All right. Um, actually, since we just added the legs, we have to get the ones under the legs. So the ones under the legs, I forgot. There we go. And flip that over. All right. There we go. more okay now let's do the one for the head over here so right here again I'm gonna grab the ones that I'm, I was supposed to grab I, I kind of already stretched them out so I know which ones they are and I'm gonna lay it on here like so I'm gonna have to stretch this out a bit so I can see that peg. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna add some bands right there. Right here. And I'm gonna continue going down. Again. And all the way until I connect. And there we go. Alright, so now I'm done with all these. So now I can go ahead and flip. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the ones under these. And flip that over. So there's four left. I'm going to grab the ones under the head ones. So these bottom four. Flip that over. I'm going to grab the bottom four from here, flip that over. So now I'm going to re put my head back like this, so that way it's not stretched anymore. All right, so there you go. And you can continue flipping. So after this, we're going to be adding the arms. Doing one more flip after that, and that's it. Okay, so now we're done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push all my bands down so I have room for my next row. All right, so this is what we have so far. Okay, now to add the arms. And the arms, like we said before, we're gonna, this, these four, we're gonna take the spot of the neck. We're gonna skip two and add the arms here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, the fifth peg. Okay, on the fifth peg, you're gonna go ahead and add your arms where your slip knot is at. And that's your center. So you're going to go right directly to the end, grab those four bands, and that you will 
add to the fifth pig. One, two, three, four, five. Check. Same thing with this one. Right directly right here. It's these. So go ahead and grab those four bands and add directly to the fifth peg on the other side. Make sure your hands are on the same on the correct position. Alright? And they should be bending kind of the same. Alright. So you know that that's correct. Right. Now Yeah, so we're done with that part. Um and we're gonna add the next part of the neck. Hmm. No, not till the next one. Alright, so Let's go ahead and do another row. Now on this one, it'll be a little bit tricky since we have this blocking this. Let's go ahead and add our two bands here. We're gonna grab another two. Move some bands over here. All right. Here's a key thing. We cannot add, I mean, we're not supposed to add bands right over it because that's going to help like that's going to kind of prevent and block our head a little so we have to put them from the inside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put it like this get my my hook go under the head and pull these bands over Oop, i got one i lost the other one so there it is right there Right there. So now it's under. And that is what I want. Same thing with the other side. I'm going to grab two bands. I'm going to put it right here. All right. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to use my hook to go under the neck. I'm going to grab the two bands. And put it on the peg. Make sure that this is on there correctly also. <laughs> so they're not falling, they're good. All right, good, good. Now, whoop, I feel like I lost. No, yes, I did lose one of the beans. Fell off right there. This is going to be tricky, so I definitely want to make sure I do not lose my pants. There we go. I'm just going to push down a bit. Uh, my arm just fell off, so I'm going to put it back on there again. Sorry for making this so difficult on you guys. I know I'm horrible. <laughs> and carefully put this on there. And then the next one. The next two. Right here. Before I move on, I'm going to do this right now. So again, I want to be careful that my bands don't drop down. There we go. Oops. 
Can brook. Does that one for the next section? Doesn't look like anything has fallen. Oh. It's always good to use double bands. <laughs> In case one snaps, the other one is still holding. right here. Okay. Now flip again. So back here let's do this one. Let's grab the bottom four. Flip over. Push down. Okay, same thing over here. I'm gonna grab the bottom four. Carefully flip over and push down. Now with all of these, I want to grab all the bottom ones under the four because there should be only four left over in the end. Carefully flip, flip these. I'm already losing bands, so I need to fix that really quick. Again, might have to do a little by little actually. So I'm gonna push down a little so that way they don't fall. So there's some right there. Okay, now that they help to keep, hold those down, I'm gonna grab the rest and flip the rest over. There we go. Now I'm gonna push down so they don't fall. So I'm gonna do this one too. This okay. Oh. <laughs> On this one, we're going to grab the ones under the arm. Okay. All right. There we go. So don't flip the ones with the arm. There should be like six bands, six rows of bands right there. I'm going to continue doing this side. And after this, we're going to do just one last row. To, to seal it. And that way we can be able to take it out. And we should be done. Right here, I'm gonna grab all the ones under. Okay, all the ones under those four. So you may wanna do this little by little also. So grab some to kind of lock it in place. And now you're gonna grab the rest and flip those. And now you should have four rows left, all right? Okay. Alright, so right here again, I'm going to grab all the ones that are under here. So actually, again, like I said, a little bit first to kind of help lock it in place and then grab the rest and flip over. There we go. Now work our way to the top so we can do the other side of the neck. 
My pigs are falling apart. There we go. Alright, so right here, the ones under the arm. So it should be just the bottom four. Then these. This one. Okay, and now let's go ahead and do this hard one right here. So again, you should have all the ones that are under the top four. So if you want to grab a few first, just to help keep it down, and then grab the rest and flip those over. There we go. Now we can push everything down to make room for the final row. Alright, this final row we're actually going to be adding a little different because it's going to be help seal everything. I'm actually going to be starting from up here. I feel like it might be the easiest. Um, yeah, let's just start from up here. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it from down here because I already have a slip knot here. So I wanna end down here. The first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna be connecting the next part of the tail. And the next part of the tail, we're also gonna be connecting the next part of the legs and the last part of the neck. So the next part of the tail, of course, we have our front right here which is, this is the middle part of the front. I can tell because, I mean, like I can easily tell. If you fold it in half from where it was, there's your tip. So I'm gonna grab the side ones right here, this one, and the next one, this hole right here. So, you want to make sure that they are even. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, just one thing to before we continue. Um, since I'm trying to do everything from the opposite side, so that way the pieces come out correctly on the right side, the head has to actually be like this. So that way, of course, it will just be easier to just lay the the rest of the bands that we have to connect. That way we can just go ahead and invert this inside since everything has been inverted on the outside already. Um, we're not gonna connect these pieces until the very end just because of how it is, but right now we'll grab two bands. We're gonna go ahead and connect everything together. So right this part where once you have your tail already connected, you're gonna grab your two bands. You're gonna kind of go through a slip knot motion without grabbing this other slip knot that's on here already. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it and add these over there to make a teardrop. Now you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again, go inside here, grab two bands. You're going to pull them in to create a slip knot. Slide them over and put them on this peg. All right. Now again, you're gonna go ahead and go inside here, grab two bands. Put it plain, slide it over and put it on this one. Make your way all around the entire thing. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Oh, 
we're not going to do any more connections um, except for maybe the head And we'll just go ahead and leave the head into the very end, actually. Okay, I don't want to do any more connections, because I'm kind of drawing a blank on how it's going to come out. So any other connections, we'll just go ahead and do afterwards, once we take it out of the peg. Here it'll be easier if I just move the head back over again. Slide it over. Right, and now put it over again. I always do this carefully because do not want to break my bands. Alright. Now you want to be careful not to connect it to this part because this is part of the head. So you only want to grab the ones here. These are the ones that are the only thing that should go through. Gonna be a little bit tricky just because of the angle that I'm on. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna do it from this side. There we go. And pull through. There we go. One more, there we go. All right. Now it's only connected to the ones that I want, but not the head. Okay. Let me go ahead and continue.
There's a lot of bearings right here. Mmm. Mmm. It's because I forgot to flip it at one point. Did I? Yeah, because I don't have that many bands here. So I forgot to flip over here on this side. Let me hold this for right now. I'm going to grab it. Different hook really quick. Here. Oh, I only grabbed those two, so I'm gonna go under the four. One, two, three, four. Forgotten, I was supposed to do that one. All right. Continue. Just need one more. I just need this last one right here, which will be a little tricky. Just because there's so much going on right here, actually. Um, I need to. Right here, actually, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be tricky because I need to go from the inside. So I need to go back in here. I may need a second hook for this one. All right, now, the reason why I need a second hook is I'm going to go ahead and hold that there for now. But I need to stretch this out because I need to grab... The bands that are I'm holding through here, so that way it'll go on the inside. I'm gonna put them on my hook now. All right, so now it's on the inside. And it will stay on the inside. All right, there we go. Whew. All right, okay. I'm actually going to use, I could use another slip knot, or I can just go ahead and reuse that slip knot, but I'm just going to go ahead and use another one, it doesn't matter. 
I'm going to go ahead and slip it and tie it. They're both going to be hiding anyways, so it should be okay. So now I can go ahead and take out the entire thing. I'm going to start from down here. It's pretty tight, so you want to be careful. falling apart. So let's go ahead and adjust everything back. There we go. Obviously I want this pattern to stay on the inside, so I'm just gonna stretch it a little, so. All right. It's gonna be a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to do by hand. So we're not completely done yet. All right. All right, cool. So now we kind of have an idea. The tail, the tail is actually on correctly. That's the only thing that I was able to figure out how to be able to do correctly. Um, the legs are gonna have to be connected by hand, like so. We're gonna do an extension right there. And then the arms, we're gonna have to connect right there. And then the head, we're gonna have to do another connection right here. Just so, so it'll land. So it won't be like this, it'll be like this. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. For this one, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and do it through this slip knot. And I'm going to do just one arm for right now first. I'm going to grab, I'm, I'm going to have to use some, some blue tone slip knots. All right, so I'm, if you use a different color slip knot, uh, you may want to change. So we're gonna go ahead and switch it to a different slip knot now. And the way to do it is loosen up your current slip knot, but don't take it out yet. Because you wanna put your hook through the band that it's being held on. So there we go. So now that I'm through, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. And now I've replaced it. And then claim that on there. So now I have a loop on there. Right here. You see how it's attached to this one right here? And then there's this one, this knot right there. So I'm gonna go to this third knot right there. That's where I'm gonna attach it. So I'm gonna hold this for now on my finger. So there's this is the knot that it's attached to. This is the second one, this is the third, so I'm going to go from the bottom to the top, just like that. I'm going to grab one end of that slip knot, just like this, pull it through, and now slip that together. And there's one arm. Now the other side, same thing again. I'm going to go ahead and switch this slip knot. If you want to keep these instead, if it's too hard for you, you can. They're not going to show that much anyways. It's totally fine. I'm just switching it out. Okay. So now that I switched it, again, I'm going to go ahead and... So it's being held with this knot right there. So 
So there's the second, here's the third. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it from the, the bottom to the top, right, right there. Grab one end of the slip knot, pull it through, Up. and I lost it. Hang on, let me go ahead and fix it really quick. Shouldn't be too hard for me. I need to go ahead and grab these two. And these two. Yeah, it was those two. <laughs> right. So again, I'm going to go ahead and put it through here. Grab one end, pull it through and reclaim it, and now go ahead and do your slip knot. And tie it up. All right. Now the head. Obviously this has to stay in the middle. So I'm gonna go, this I grabbed it from a little bit behind, so I'm gonna now grab something that's a little bit more forward from it. Actually, I can, I'm gonna skip this one then, and do this one. So I can actually be able to do that and then attach it to this section right here. All right. Um, I can actually not, not there. I want to do it on this knot right there instead. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that knot. There we go. Now that I have it right there, I'm going to go ahead and grab a slip knot and slip it through and slip it through here. Try that. Same thing right here. So it's attached right there. So I'm gonna skip this one and go directly to this one. From poke from the outside to the inside. Grab those four bands, and then there's two knots right there. I don't want those, I want this one. And go ahead and slip the knot right through. All right, much better. Okay, now the legs we're actually gonna do after. Right now I need to figure out where they're landing on our shell. So first things first is we have to go ahead and insert the uh, the body into the shell. We're going to go from the bottom. Go ahead and insert your head first. And take out your head through the top hole. Go ahead and put your arms now. The other arm. I don't need these colored slip knots anymore. So I'm going to take them out. All right, so based on how he's landing, all right. One thing we're going to be using some stuffing to kind of keep them together. All right. So right now, like he looks very flabby, <laughs> but there's room enough right there to be able to insert the tanks. Right. So let's go ahead and put the tanks inside. And now to be able to put some stuffing in there and 
you want the stuffing to be like about like, like to fit into both of your hands. You want it about like at least big enough where you think it'll fit. And it's just by terms of ratio, just if you need to put more in, go ahead and put more in. If you need to take out some, take out some. But you want it to kind of like help fill up your blast toys. Wherever you need to put some stuffing in. I don't, I don't know if I want to put any back there. I kind of want to help it round them out with the stuffing. All right, right now the head is popping out too much than I want. What I can do is tighten up a little and we'll figure that out in a moment. I just want to go ahead and try to get as much as I can right there. So obviously we're going to have to stitch these uh, clothes together with, um, with crochet. And the tail seems fine. Okay, yeah, so it's looking good. So we're gonna be needing to stitch this. We're gonna do some uh, fishtails to connect this to the ends. All right, so that way, of course, it'll help out with the, with the entire thing. Um, I might wanna go ahead and grab like some sort of liner just to be able to hide this but the best thing to do what I did last time was I used a bunch of jelly bands <laughs> just to help kind of like pull them down all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that then. So now that I know like, how much stuffing I need, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. All right, because I'm satisfied with how it is. Put that to the side right now. All right, get back to that. I pretty much just took it out because <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and it's a lot easier to work this way. From the back, if you have um, the C clips in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the slip knot and attach it to the clip. If you have it like that. But if you have slip knots, then go ahead and just add that slip knot to the other slip knot. However you did it. Alright, it's gonna help out a bit. Alright, so now that that is complete, um, the next step is up oh, your tanks. We're actually gonna attach them to the body part. So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab two uh, clear bands. Now that all these are together. Um, you're going to do it from the body first. We're going to connect it to the back of the tail part right here. All right. So go ahead and grab two clear bands, create a slip knot. All right. And then that should be good enough leverage. Yeah, I think so. So now from this part, you're going to go ahead and insert the tanks into the opening of those bands. 
and that way it stays in the middle. I have still some cotton. All right, so now it's like this. And that's gonna help out a lot, actually. Um, so from there, now we're gonna go ahead and be able to. Um, what was the other part that I was gonna? Oh yeah, here. The other part we're gonna attach them to was the slip knot right here, and go ahead and attach the tanks in there. Make sure that they go all the way under the silver tank. Okay, that's gonna help it stay on its side. Now the other one on the other side. All the way through, there we go. All right, so now that that is complete, right. uh, I need to uh, help you close this part. Right. And then we're gonna go ahead and figure how to be attach this to your, to your piece. And I think I remember how to. All right, so now, right here, we actually need to go ahead and add a section and I want to be able to help it connect a little bit more to, to here. In order to do that, we need to go ahead and first, we're gonna be using some blue bands. And from there, I'm gonna grab two, wherever that slip knot is, take it out. We're gonna be adding these two right there instead. Oh, it's flying. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and Grab those bands, these two and these two, so that's four. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these and pull it through and reclaim. All right, then do it as a slip knot. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another one and do another chain with double bands. Okay, all right. Gonna do another one. This is our third one, another chain. All right. Okay. What I want to do is I want to just go ahead and kind of help attach this so it'll kind of close a little bit. And this is actually gonna give a little bit more leverage. I know that this is still gonna be uh, like opened. Um, you can close it if you want to go ahead and crochet it. Uh, your way to it. I'll show you how. Um, do I want to do three or do I want to do four? I think I want to do three, just three. Because I want to attach from the back, actually. Yeah, the back part. Okay. Yeah, all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna take out one end of this, just like that. And then we're gonna go back to um, the body. So right here is where it's being attached. I'm gonna go just one right above. And the one I wanna grab is this knot again. So from that knot, grab all four of the bands. And now you can go ahead and reclaim the other end of it right there, just like that. And another slip knot through all of them. Whatever is easiest way for you to put your slip knot through. Okay. That's gonna help my leg stay secured instead of being dangly. All right, and now we can go ahead and close that up. Now we're gonna do this side. So again, go ahead and take out the slip knot. I'm gonna go through this one. Grab two bands. We're gonna do three chains. So this is our first chain. One. Two and three. So before I put it back on there, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my body. It's being attached right there. And this is the one that I want, that knot. 
go through all four and put your slip knot through. Okay. That's in their better state. Right. The way we're going to do this is kind of the same way that we did for Yoshi um, for the shoes. I'm literally just going to go ahead and go from the outside edge right here. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in some. This outside edge, I'm going to go ahead and just go with one one band right here and I'm gonna go from this edge here and you're gonna grab an edge from in here too so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab an edge from in here two bands these two bands grab this one and put it through this one too and reclaim it okay but don't slip on it now you're gonna grab the one up here it's just two bands and then Pull this one through all of these and reclaim it. All right. All right. So now I'm going to go on to one of the ones that I just did my chain to. I'm going to actually just go through that one and these two bands and then reclaim it. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn around this way. So I'm going to turn the whole thing around because it's going to be a lot easier. You can do this if you want or you can do it a different way. Um, but now this is the one that it's being attached to. So this first one, this first link is the one that I want. So I'm going to go through these two. Grab another band. Pull it through. And... Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, no, no, I'm going to reclaim it back under, and I'm going to go under this one. There we go. And this is how the pattern starts now. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab just two bands from here. Go right here, reclaim it. All right, now that you have four, you're going to pull these two under this one. All right. And then the next bands... Try not to get the ones on the front. Try to get some from the back. Because the ones from the front are just for, um, just to show the pattern. All right, so I have these two now. Grab another band. Reclaim it. And now pull these two on, through these two. There's that one now. I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to grab two bands from here, grab another band, reclaim it, and now these two go under this one. All right. Go ahead and grab another one right here, these two bands. And notice how I'm not grabbing any of the ones from the front. I'm grabbing all the ones that are hiding in the back. Reclaim it, and now these two go under these. Then this one. Reclaim it. And now they go under. Alright. I'm going to skip one and go directly onto the rest of the leg just to kind of help close it up a little bit more. And right here. And then they go under all of them. There we go. And now it's being connected. Right. And now it's getting closed up a little bit more. So I'm not going to go around. I'm just going to go back over onto the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and this is where it's getting latched on. So I'm just going to go onto this one now. And I'm going to grab these two. Grab another band. Pull it through that one. Reclaim it, and now these two go under this one. 
right? Now the next one right here, just these two, grab another band. Reclaim it and go under these two. Right. Now the next one. I'm actually gonna skip this one and go directly onto the one right across right here. I'm kinda just doing this as I go, just because I'm like I'm kinda eyeballing it. Now these two go under this one. There we go. Alright, so it's definitely a lot more closed now. I want to make, make my way to the slip knot. So just continue until you get to the slip knot because you're going to slip slip it on there too. So now I want to grab another two bands. I'm going to grab I'll just grab these two. It's totally fine. I can't, it's kind of hard grabbing any of the other ones. All right, and then these two go through here. All right, and now I'm gonna go through this chain. Right here. And then have these two go under. All right, one more chain, and then I finally get to the slip knot. So now I just need, whoops, these two from this last chain. And in the end, you're actually making your chain a little bit more secure as well. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's supposed to reclaim, and then these two go under these two. There we go. So now, on my last one, I'm going to grab this slip knot that's left over behind. All right, and that's the tail one. I'm going to pull it through. All right, and I'm going to re grab the slip knot. And I'm going to I think I only need one, one part of the band, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab one side of the slip knot and slip it again. You can actually do that. <laughs> so yeah, so I slipped it again. Okay. And I like that better. So now it's closed. Now to do this side. So again. I need to begin from this outer edge right here. I need some bands. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab two from here and then two from in here. Grab this band, pull it through these two, reclaim it. And what did I do right? I I went this direction, right? Yeah, I went this direction, so I at least I think I went this direction. <laughs> it's kinda hard to tell now. But same thing anyways. So now that I went through here and I'm grabbing onto this one, I'm gonna go ahead and grab onto another set of bands right here. As long as you close it up, it's totally fine. And now the, this is the first chain that I'm going to grab, because after this one I'm going to turn around. these two. Now turn around and do the same thing. I'm going to go from this one, grab two bands, go through, and now these two go under, then two bands from back here. One, two, 
one. There you go, there's two. Mm. This one's coming out tighter, so you can tell because there's a lot of holes. So I'm gonna have to do a little less. Actually, I need to go through this one. <laughs> I was already going, getting way ahead of myself. Alright, now this one. Alright, reclaim it and then go under. Oops, I forgot one. So do this again. Now go under. There we go. The next one. There's those two bands. There we go. Next one back here. Two bands. There we go. Reclaim. Pull through. Kind of messed up, so I have to do it all over again. Bands got all entangled. Right, there we go. <laughs> all right now, these two. And oops, I didn't mean. There you go. Right here. I'm gonna go directly onto the leg now. You clean, pull through. Oops. Again, I'm only grabbing one band. <laughs> Let me fix that. I don't want to slip, now I want these two bands. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> Is that how I did it? I'm just gonna grab one more so I can just turn around. Alright, and now I'm gonna turn around. And grab the next one over. Go under. All right, now grab the next one. So I grab that one. I have to be this one. Next one. And next one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and skip that one and go directly to this knot there just to help make it tighter because I don't want it to open otherwise it's not going to be close to the other one all right now to go through my chains next chain And this is the last chain. Yeah. 
of the last chain I'm going to go ahead and put it onto the slip knot again pull the slip knot through and let it's through I'm going to grab just one end of the other side of the slip knot and slip it again that way it just makes a knot right there and it holds it now I'm done with that part Whew, okay let's go ahead and put it in our shell now and close up our shell so I want to do put the tanks in put the head in it goes right there now the arms Now the other arm. All right. I want to take out the tanks. The head. So now we're going to have to tighten this part of the neck because it's a little too loose. Right. And then we're going to stuff them and then we're going to go ahead and seal it and that's it. That should be everything that we have to do. So now in order to be able to tighten this, I want to go ahead and hmm, maybe I should just add another section of slip knots through all the way to the tanks. Which is pretty much like what I did. Um, so, sorry not the tanks, the, the tank holder so right here there's these little squares I'm gonna put some clear bands right here on the edge of this um, uh, cap band so I'm gonna grab two clear bands all right I'm gonna put them in through there Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and create your slip knot. Okay, and this slip knot, I feel it'll probably be a, a lot better attaching it to the back of right here with these clips. So let's see how it'll be once I attach that on there. I think it'll help out a lot more because just these obviously have to stay down. I think it's gonna. I think it'll make a difference. All right. So now the next one. Do the same thing. Gonna go from in here. Look for that cap band right there. And I'm gonna go through it. All right, and then add two slip knots. Sorry, two clear bands to make a slip knot. And attach it to the other C clip. clip is going to be really full but this is going to help out a lot all right so just put your head in keep 
these down. All right. Mm, still a little loose. <laughs> mm, yeah, I should have done one section between these instead of two. Oh well. The only thing that I can be able to think of is by making sure that this bottom part is attached. Just something down here, which might help a little. So, since I have this right there, obviously I know that I want the head to be like this. The only thing I think I can think of is adding a C-clip onto here, just to keep it in that position. I think that's probably what I'm going to have to end up doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a clip. You can either use a C-clip or an S-clip. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see where I want it to be attached to. Um, I want my head to be like right there. So I'm going to attach it like right under there. So I'm going to put my finger there and it has to be right under my finger. And it has to be also in the middle. This is the middle. And I'm just going to grab some bands. Alright, so now let me have my bands. I'm going to go ahead and put a clip on there. Alright. Now, I need to attach it to right here in the white part. And it's going to be right in the middle, but also towards the back. So I'm going to choose some bands from back here. Actually, I might be able to just join it right here on the, on the brown shell. Let me see if I can just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to grab some bands from over here. And I'm going to grab this clip correctly. Do this again. So this is right in the middle. Right there. And Ooh. it's hard work. <laughs> All right. Oof. Okay. Try that again. There we go. Alright, alright, a lot better. <sighs> Put your stuffing in. If you want, you can even uh, put some like, bands that you really don't want. So that way it kind of keeps your stuffing in a ball. Okay, and then now that I gave it a little bit more shape, I can actually stuff it in there. Okay, yeah, and so it's, it's leaving it pudgy, so I'm satisfied with that. Yeah. 
whose arms will fit later. All right, so that is there, this is there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the bottom part. Right here, we're gonna need some silicon bands. And we're gonna start right here where my slip knot is at. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the slip knot and put my hook through those bands. So I'm gonna carefully take it out, go through, there should be two bands right there, these two bands. And I'm gonna grab another two actually just to give it a little bit more strength. So I'm gonna grab two from the bottom. One, two, and then reclaim this one. So now it's right there in the middle. All right, with two bands, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through all of these. All right. Now I'm gonna grab another two bands Go through all these. This is chain number two. I'm gonna go through again. This will be chain number three. And, um, I think three chains would be good. Maybe four. It's because this is kind of getting st stretched too much. Yeah. Needs to be tucked away. Let's try a fourth chain. All right. All right, yeah, I think I might be a little more comfortable with four chains. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the back right here. Um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and just leave it like this for now, actually. Um, unless you want to just go ahead and grab the slip knot and put it back on there, just so you can be able to attach both of them at the same time, both sides. So let me go ahead and grab slip knot, put it through. Right. Now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna grab four bands, so these two here, and actually I'm gonna let go of this one. Go through two from in here. Come on. And now this one, and there's four. All right. Now again, two bands, and then another two bands. This will be, oops, this is chain number two. I'm getting some cotton entwined in there. Chain number three. And chain number four. All right, now that I have both chains on there, I can go ahead and see and yeah, I like that. I like that pretty much, okay. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab another clear band. I'm gonna go through this one. Just leave it like that for now. Because down here, I need to find the middle part. So my middle part is right here of the shell. So I need to Grab the bands that are right there in the middle. So it's right in between these two actually for me. So I'm gonna grab these here. All right. And looks like I'm gonna have to put the clear band through these, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go through these again and then take out the, the clear band. And now I want to grab these bands again. 
grab my clear band, go through, and through these, and there. All right. I'm not going to attach it yet because I want to go ahead and tie this one also. So I think it'd be better if I do it like this instead of doing it separately. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably going to use another hook for this one. So let's go ahead and use another hook. All right. So on this one, because the middle is actually right in between these two, I'm gonna go through here to grab the other side of that clear band, just right here. All right. Now I need to pull it through now. So now it's grabbing onto all of them. I'm gonna put it back onto this hook so it doesn't fall. And I need to now take out the slip knot of this one Put my hook through these. And now I can grab the other end of the clear slip, uh, slip knot. Go through these. Grab the other end right here. And create my slip knot between these. And pull and tighten. I think I'm all set now. I'm just going to tuck that in there. All right. Let's see how it came out. Put these back in there really quick. So the back looks pretty good. I'm gonna need to twist my head a little bit, but I'll adjust later. But there is your Blastoise completed. It's all done. All you have to do is just adjust your your body parts, and you can go ahead and get them to take out his tanks more. Whew, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was really, really tough. Um, if you if you like how your blasters came out, um, then leave me a comment. Um, give me a thumbs up. Um, visit my page on Facebook, Instagram for more information. Uh, thank you guys so much again for all your patience. So much patience. Um, I will give an update also what's going on for this year, for 2016. A lot has been going on, and um, a lot more in turn because my hand, actually, um, my hand is not what it used to be. It hurts really bad now. And so I'm down to like, unfortunately I cannot be able to do as many tutorials as I, used, as I wanted to, but I'm still trying. Um, like just to be able to help you guys to create your 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 characters, um, and I will give you guys a list of what is next on my on my tutorials. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, like subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.